Hi friends, uh, today is the day that we are headed out of Albuquerque, New Mexico and starting our trip. But we wanted to just check in with everyone and uh, give a little update. Um, so we'll be sad to leave the house, of course. Um, it's going to be a lot smaller in our little RV um, and I sure will miss the washing machine. <laughs> but um, some of the things that we are uh, sad to leave uh, are actually in our garden and so we wanted to just give you a little preview a little um, hopefully a preview to what's to come uh, in our future garden so firstly let's see if I can get it that is our raspberry bush and we had got several raspberry bushes but this is the only one that came back and I think he looks happy <laughs> this is just a kale plant that lasted the winter. Um, and here is what Richard is watering right now. It looks a little sad right now, but it is our beloved goji berry. Uh, it's got all this wonderful new growth. I don't know how close I can get with you guys being able to see, but um, it just looks awesome and it came back uh, with a fervor, so we're just hoping that the the buyer loves goji berries, and they're kind of tart, but they have um, some superfood properties, and that's why I planted it. I actually got it from, um, I think, the downtown uh, farmer's market or grower's market um, in Albuquerque. So um, there's a guy there that sells starts of goji berries. It's awesome. Um, and then lastly, well, not lastly, but here, right here is our strawberry plant, and uh, has a, a lot of nice growth some flowers already so I hope uh, there's some strawberries there for the guy and those are our beautiful um, what am I thinking what is this one called iris, iris. I can't believe I forgot that name <laughs> iris and then we also have uh, a lilac bush here um, it's it, it came really green last spring, but didn't have any flowers, so maybe this spring it's more established and it will produce some pretty flowers. We do have some annual stuff, spinach and just uh, beets, um, kale, that I couldn't help myself but plant even though I knew we were leaving. And then behind me, oh yeah. Behind me is our peach tree that was here when we bought the house. And last year, Richard did get some nice peaches off it. And he just ate around the worms. So, <laughs> and then, oh, and then I forgot this one right here is, let's see, this one right here is a blueberry bush that our friends, sweet friends Bob and Lori bought for us. And um, we didn't think it was gonna make it, but it does have new growth. So hopefully um, it will do something. But so that's it for our video today. We are just um, wanted to give you guys an update and say we're headed out. Uh, we've got our, our truck packed to the brim. We with, can't fit anything else in there. We can't fit anything else. And um, so hopefully, Hopefully uh, it's a smooth trip, but we'll keep you guys updated and thank you for your love and your prayers and we hope to talk soon. Love you. Love you.